Thank you. Thank you, Randall. This is such a great homecoming, right? I've missed Dubai for about three years. We've always been here, and it's something na regular na namin in anticipate. Ang hindi ko lang talaga na anticipate ngayon yung init, no? Kasi <laughs> hindi na pala siya March. Ibang iba na siya ngayon talagang open na siya, di ba? And I heard it's going to get worse, right? But again, it's always a great opportunity to learn. I guess all of us are here because we want to learn. And maybe we always look back at people who make it. They are the ones who hit the limelight, do the great things. But as I was listening to Cardo, Randall, as I got exposed to Rolly this morning, you know, there's, there's something I realized. That each of us have our own journey. Let us not look at somebody's line and copy it. It doesn't happen that way. The key is to know and learn. Because you're going to chart your own journey. You're going to have your own pathway. Ang importante, handa ka for it. So when Carlo was executing on his interest and in making it a business, he was ready for it. He had the corporate background. He knew after years of creating those blogs, what's gonna happen? And most important of all, he has created a community. Hindi na kailangan magbenta, di ba? Kasi yung community na yan, loyal na yan eh. Think about Ayala Land. Alam niyo bang meron buyers sa Ayala Land na bumibili sight unseen? Sight and scene, basta nag-launch, ang requirement lang nila, ako una pili. Ako una pili. Yun lang. Babayad yan, walang nakita. Kahit kopon bag, walang drawing. It's a launch, I buy it. Why are those brands that strong? Because of that community. And we were too late in the game. Ramper didn't do this until the pandemic struck. Hindi nyo naman ako makikita eh. Wala akong Facebook, di ba? Wala akong Twitter. Wala akong social media. Zilp! How would you even imagine in less than three years I will be doing videos, I will be talking to a camera as well. Parang nangingilabot ako nung umpisa kong ginagawa yun eh. But my team was telling me, boss, this is the only way to do it now. If you're not gonna do this, we won't be able to survive. You know what happened? We got so big. Ate, it was a great equalizer. Ate, I was looking at BDO, I was looking at BPI. How many branches did they have? I cannot compete with them, so I labeled myself, if you remember, a dynamic niche player. Ang rapper ganun, we're a dynamic niche player. We're not big. Alam niyo, during the pandemic, nag-drop na yung dynamic niche player. We're not a niche player anymore. Why? Because of social media? We stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with people with branches. Because we realize we never needed it. We never needed it. Ito po nakakatuwa ako. Nasa immigration kami. Nasa pila. I was worried why June was being held back by the immigration officer. Ang tagal. Ang tagal. Yung pala, tinanong daw siya. Ano pangalan mo? Janice Fernando. Hindi, yung totoong pangalan mo. Janice Fernando. Di ba rapper ka? Ano yung totoong pangalan mo? Jung Fernando? Kasi di ba Jung's 5 yung vlog niya? So when, he, when she said Jung's, Jung Fernando, ayan, yan ang totoong pangalan mo. <laughs> Teka lang, nasan si? Firing on all cylinders. Nasan si Mr. Mendoza? And I was worried kasi ang tagal nga eh. So na, medyo matras ako, kahit nasa labas na ako ng pila, hinihintay ko siya, nakita ko. You know, he got out of his booth and that a picture taken with me. Wow. Diba? I mean, three years ago, who would have ever thought, right? I, I'm not even, as I've said, on any social media platform. But today, Rambert's there. So, what am I telling you? Guys, you have to be ready. The opportunities happen. They're all around you. You know why you don't notice them? Because you're not ready for them. You will only ex 
execute on an opportunity if you know what to do about it. And that's the reason why education and execution would be very, very important. I mean, how many Filipinos are in Dubai? Wait, hindi malang natin na puno ito. Alam niyo, ito pang masakit sabihin na I want to be very, very direct and it can hurt a lot of people. The guys who are not even here are the guys who need to be here. That's the sad part of this. Sila yung kulang yung kaalaman dun. Hindi ba? Kasi ito ang start with the life of discipline eh. Why would you be interested in investing if you're spending everything you earn anyway? Di ba? Hindi ka naman magiging interesado mag-invest kung wala kang perang i-invest eh. So knowledge about investments is not even relevant. It's the life of discipline first that sets up the fun that you begin to understand. Uy, may sobra ko eh. Saan ko ilalagay? Now you need to learn about investments. Kasi kung wala kang sobra, hindi mo kailangan matuto eh. Kasi wala kang ilalagay. Di ba? Ito pa ulit-ulit mong sinasabi, ang daming Pinoy. Asa ng pera? Nasa paranormal activity. Di ba? Yung mga pangyayari, hindi maipaliwanag sa pera mo. Namumulto, di ba? Namumulto. I mean, I tell a lot of people, from the very first day you earned money, how much money ever passed your hands? You don't even know. You never even calculated. Right? Sa dami na ng pera niyo, nasa niyo ngayon? Kaya nagmumulto na eh. Alaala na rin sila. Diba? Isa na silang alaala. In fact, for the Filipino, and Rolly and I were just discussing this, because he was frustrated. His people, alam niyo, siya na ang nagumpisa ng accounts for them. Sila na yung every month, meron, in fact, I had a session with these people. Teaching them the very basic, alam niyo ba ngayon, kasalanan nang hindi ka makapag-invest, alam, minimum, 50 pesos. Ang minimum, 1,000. Huwag mo sabihin, hindi mo kaya. Pero bakit? Ganon sila. Nire-reklamo ni Rolly, bakit hindi? Sabi ko, Rolly, huwag ka na mag-alala. I mean, you're normal. Okay? Your company is normal. You know why? Eh, ako nga, ramp burn eh. May empleyado pa rin akong ganyan. Ramp burn na kami eh. Pinapanood na nila yung video namin eh. Pero hindi pa rin sila into that discipline. And why not? It's because it's culture. It's behavior. And knowledge is nothing if you don't execute on a daily basis. That's key. We have different journeys. You have to know what to do about opportunities. Iba kami ng kwento ni Carlo. Ako, nakatatlong retirement na. Okay? I retire. I set up a business. Unfortunately, they want me to come back. Diba? So, balik ako. CEO naman ako ng PAMI. Pero ang arrangement, hindi ko na pwedeng hinto yung inumpisa kong kune. Alam niyo ba, there was a time when I was the only executive in the whole of AIG globally that has a license to kill. Ay, hindi ako tapos presidente ako ng PILAM Asset Management. So, pwede akong kumita ng variable pero may sweldo ko. Why? If you don't agree, I won't take the job. I won't take the job. In two minutes, they agreed. Tapos, in 2004, kinuha naman ako ng Ayala Land. Yung brand architecture ng Ayala Land na yan, kailan nyo lang narinig yan? 2006, Avila, Alveo, Ayala Land Premier. That is marketing savvy. Brand architecture clarifies and cuts through. That's my team. Because before me, Ayala Land had Ayala Land, period. Their corporate name and their brand is one and the same thing. So, ano nangyari? Maraming galit. Akala ko Ayala Land ang binili ko, maniit. <laughs> diba? Eh, abida lang pala yan eh. Amaya lang pala yan eh. Pero Ayala pa rin yan. So, best in class. Pero hindi yan Ayala Land Premier. Yun namang iba. Ay, Ayala pa yan. Hindi pa nakikita, ayaw na. Mahal yan eh. So you lose a lot of people because they don't know that you have an offering for them. Clearly, that 
became an opportunity for me. Right? So, journeys are like that. The important thing is for us to be ready with it. Asset allocation is key. Tomorrow, I'm going to go through that in a deep sense because we're talking about strategic investing. A lot of people invest. And they invest because they think at the end of the day they can retire well, they'll have the money, they'll have a good life, they can give their children a better future. But what is strategic investing? Kailangan strategic hindi opportunistic eh. There has to be asset allocation. It's nice to hear Carlo come up with so many businesses. Pero there's a thin line that cuts through all that. At first, it's his interest and it has to be something that pays off. Pag nandun ka na, okay ka na, pwede ka nang pumasok sa lugo. Yung barber shop. <laughs> hindi na kailangan kumite. Di ba? Okay na yan. Kanya-kanyang luho yan. Uy, teka lang. Alam ni Randall ito. Ako may barber shop din. Covent in Makati. The first gentleman. It's a high-end barber shop. Uy, bang reason ko kay Carl? Alam niyo naman, ang frustration. <laughs> Kanya-kanyang frustration niya. So, again, businesses are put up for a personal reason. Ha? Huh? Personal reason yan. Di ba? So, sasabihin ng barbero ko, pag upo ko doon, at least ako naman, may konting gugupitin, pero siguro, tak, five minutes lang, tapos na. Eh. Five minutes lang, tapos na. So, na sasabihin ko, tagal-tagalan mo naman ang masahe. <laughs> Di ba? Kuhanin na lang natin sa masahe yan. But I have rampered. And as I was teaching, si Rolly this morning, ayusin mo na yan. Lumalaki ka na eh. I probably would also tell Carlo. You know, the advantage I have is that I got myself to the highest level of the corporate ladder. Where I'm going to be answerable only to the directors and the shareholders. Because I was CEO four times in my life. Right? Alam na alam ko how things are played at that level. To the point where I think Rolly and Carlo will have to think about a holding company structure already. Why? Kasi iba-iba ang negosyo nila, iba-iba ang restaurant nila, iba-iba ang partner nila. Eh, yung mga partner na yan, iba-iba ang ugali niyan. Ako, I have several businesses. Meron akong businesses, sinasali ko ang mga kaibigan. For the sake of, gusto ko kasali sila. But I don't need their money. But I realize, pagdating ng panahon, Aba, yung pinakamalilit ang pera, yun ang pinakamaiingay. At dami yung reklamo. Oh, so ito, meron kang kumpanya dito, naglagay lang siya ng konti, abay, mas maingay pa siya. <laughs> so now you have to have a structure. Or else what? They will hold you down. They will hold you down. You have to make sure that it's, in a way, positioned for growth so that you know what you're aiming for. And when problems hit the fan, when the shit hits the fan, you know, I'm the biggest owner next to the person who runs it. Blue Leaf. I think many of you know Blue Leaf. It's one of the best, if not the very best events venue in the Philippines now. Can you imagine? Nagka-COVID, wala kang parokyano for two years. How are you going to survive? You have to maintain the buildings. You have to give a continuous cash flow to the people, even if there is no revenue. So pag mayroong kang investor na ang alam lang ay kumuha ng dividendo, may problema tayo. Kasi there are times na susugal ka, there are times na magpapaluwal ka. So people will have to understand, rappers doing well, Blue Leaf is not. Tel Aviv, my real estate company, no, I have three, can partner with Ayala Lad, can partner with any institution like Ortigas. Iba yun. And then there are others. Singapore Life, may partner ko po dyan si Randall Chong Son. 
the only purely digital insurance company. Pagbili mo sa GCash, all digital. Pag nag-file ka ng claim, digital din. Walang papel. It's the first in the Philippines. Ano ang minimum investment and capital for an insurance firm in the Philippines as prescribed by the Insurance Commission? It's 1.3 billion pesos. So, ganyan kayaman si Rande. Ha? Shareholder yan. Hindi yata alam ni Mia. No? Ha? Ni Mia, pwede mong singilin niya. Diba? So, yan yung mga ano eh. But, again, if you're going to be looking at my businesses, much like Carlo, real estate. O, diba, nag-ayala lang ako. Diba? O, ramper. Diba, nag-fill up life ako. Diba? Events place. Diba, mahilig akong lumabas eh. Mahilig akong magkaroon ng mga social events. So, my travels give me great ideas. But there's also one thing I want to tell you. I don't invest in businesses. I invest in people. The people who are running these businesses, as Carla would have said, are the ones who provide the differentiation. Tinatayaan ko sila kasi sila yung magagaling eh. You know, I am the corporate guy who holds their feet to the ground. Kasi alam niyo, ang problema sa mga entrepreneur, lumilipad ang isip eh. You know, kung masusunod si Eugene Sanday sa Blue Leaf, dapat yung staircase ng Blue Leaf sa Pilipinas, dapat glass. Kasi sabi niya, pagpababa yung bride. Glass staircase, parang alas Cinderella. I'm the corporate guy, right? Anong question ko kay Eugene? Who's gonna pay for that staircase? Can we charge extra for the staircase? No! It's an amenity! They pay for the venue, they go down the stairs for free. It was a photo op. Walang babayad dyan eh. So corporate guy, ano nangyari? Natuloy pa rin naman yung aming staircase. Acrylic na lang. Wala namang may alam ng diferensya eh. So I create value by participating as a director. So this is key. Ang haba ng introduction ko, yung presentation ko. Okay? Kasi, tatapatin ko kayo, no? My presentation is all about investments. But investments have to be positioned as optimization. Optimization. Kasi in the end, we like to have businesses. We like to have financial wellness. We want to have cash flows. Yung investments, medium lang yan. In fact, listening to Carlo, gusto ko na nga siyang kausapin kagad kasi two years emergency fund. Mukhang malaki yun ah. Saan nakalaga yun? Kasi di ba, trabaho ko, optimization. Oh, looking at him, this guy spends a lot of money on a monthly basis. 1824 months mo yung emergency fund. Tulog yan. So ano, kailangan siya? Eh, kailangan siyempre, number one, fixing club yan. Kasi kailangan zero risk, right? But you see, when you do fix income in a bank, what will the bank pay you? One percent. One and a half. Gross. Tatanggalan pa ng tax. I don't know if Carlo knows this because we can put his money in a bond with a repo arrangement. What does that mean? We buy a globe bond, an Ayala land bond, that will earn six and a half percent net. Ang ganda nung ano na yun, ano? So habang nagtatrabaho siya sa mga business niya, yung emergency fund niya lumalaki. So hindi na lang 24 months, magiging 26 months, magiging 28 months, hanggang mamaya yung emergency fund niya, 5 years na. Diba? But, but, pero kailangan may repo. Why? 7 years yung bond eh. Siyempre, baka mamaya kailangan niya for an emergency. You know how the bond works? When you have a repo arrangement, pag kinuha mo ng less than a year, babalik siya sa time deposit. Yung rate. Kasi kinuha mo na eh. Pag nakatagal ka ng one year, you get the one year rate. Pag nakatagal ka ng three years, you get the three year rate. At pag nakatagal ka ng seven years, you get the seven year rate. Walang daya, di ba? Pero pag nasa banko ka, you always get the 30 day rate. Even if it stays with them for seven years. Yan po ang kalakaran ng investing. Okay? And that's the reason why I tell people, we have a very different way of looking at money. I just have to be very clear with this. Ayoko pong, 
Randall Wood, who I could always introduce me as a body, was humble. I really am. Pero minsan kailangan magbagay ka ng mga example. Eh. Di ba? Like for example, I can tell you, I don't have a balance of my banking accounts. Hindi kumikita sa akin ang banko. Di ba kayo may minimum balance? Okay. Lahat ng minimum balance nyo, isipin nyo, i-compute natin lahat, magkano kinikita ng banko nilagyan nyo. May minimum balance kayo. I don't. Every day, I have a sweep account. What's that? All my balances at the end of the day is swept in an arrangement that earns an overnight rate in consonance with the policy rate of the BSP. So, walang tulog. Di ba? Walang tulog na pera. Pero kailangan may minimum ka. Wala kayong minimum nun. Di ba? Pero akala ko mayaman na ako. Akala ko. And I was like driving one day, visiting a good friend who's part of my mastermind group. That's the other thing. Have a group that enriches and nourishes you. So kung akala mo, big time ka na, kailangan may kasama kang ganito. So I went to his house, we ate lunch. And I was like feeling so good. Why? Because I was driving a Maserati to his place. I really felt wealthy. <laughs> Tapos bumaba yung anak niya. Sabi, Daddy, can I get my allowance? Sabi niya, Fatima naman. We're eating lunch. Dito Rex and I are eating lunch. You have a card no money. Get it there na lang. One year. Get it there na lang. <laughs> After the lunch, we stood up. We went to the sala. And at the corner of the sala, has position an ATM machine. <laughs> Kaya ang balansi mo sa banko para bigyan ka ng BDO ng ATM machine. Okay? So, umuwi ako ng araw na yun, nakamaserati ako, puritang-purita piling ko. Walang yan, kailan pa ako magkaka-ATM sa bahay. Hindi ako magkakaroon yan, hindi ba? But I am with people who are like this. So that at the onset, wala kang feeling ng complacency. You're always inspired to do something more. That's why I tell Randall, alam namin mga anak mo. Okay, nasa Corinthians yun, hindi ba? You're supposed to take care of your children. My daughter, my eldest daughter is getting married in October. Will they have a house? Yes, they will. Will I be the one to give it to them? Yes, I am. Because I want the husband to know that the house came from me. <laughs> At gabi, aduin mo ang anak ko, hindi yan uuwi sa akin. At gabi, aduin mo ang anak ko, ikaw ang kailangan umalis dyan. Amin yan eh. <laughs> Kasi pag hindi sa'yo yung bahay, yung anak mo uuwi. Guys, you have to have a clearer picture of your end in mind. If your end in mind is not so clear, Mahirap yan eh. Retirement, ano? Narinig ko yan kanina. Integration. Then that's a great thing. That you have to see vividly how you're gonna come back. But how vivid is that picture? My retirement? That's very vivid. Very clear. I took care of my parents. They live with me. The twilight years of their life. Ang hirap mag-alaga ng matanda. Mahirap. Lalo pa yung dad ko, may remnants of the Second World War. May poverty syndrome. Araw-araw, humihingi ng pera. Araw-araw. Alam, alam niyo, wala na siyang idea kung gano'n ka valuable yung pera. Basta kailangan meron siya araw-araw. Pag-gising ko, pagbukas ko ng pito, nakabang na siya sa akin. Humihingi na siya. To the point that that was a time when I asked the bank to give me 10,000 in 20 peso bills. Kasi para makapal. Pero tigbibente na lang. Tapos sasabihan ko din naman yung nurse niya na bigay sa akin kasi hihingi niya uli bukas. Mayroon pag-alaga ng matanda. So I tell my wife, ano, pag tumanda, kaalagaan kita, kaalagaan mo ko. Is that a palatable arrangement for you? We know, ang hirap mag-alaga ng matanda. If you're gonna do that, na matanda ka na din, mas lalong mahirap. Kaya vivid para sa akin. 
when I really get to that age, at low ang nurse mo. At low ang nurse mo. At ako ang pipili ng akin. <laughs> you know, I gave my father three nurses on a three-day, you know, three-per-day shift. Tige eight-hour shift. Kasi yung overtime, mas mahal. So, mas maganda tatlo para tige eight-hours. Diba? So, pag ako ang pumili ng tatlong nurse ko, diba, yung matanda ka na, hugutugod ka na, kahit pa paano naman maligaya ka. Diba? You know, I can say this with my wife in the crowd. I can say this. Diba? Huwag ka na mag-alala. Mukha ko na lang ang magagalit. Diba? Magsaselos ka pa ba ng lagay na yan? Wala na yan! Sa tingin mo, mamahalin niya pa ako, pera ko na lang ang habol niya. Diba? So, Think about it. How vivid are you when you think about your reintegration? Where are you gonna live? What are you gonna be doing? Mahirap yung nag-integrate ka lang. Tapos akala mo may pera ka. Yung pala yung gusto mong gawin, hindi mo kayang tustusan. You have to be very clear. What are the hobbies you will pursue? What are your must-haves and nice to have? No, I said to be very clear. Nadagdagan pa yung introduction ko. Ito mo pa yung presentation ko. Hindi ba? Alam niyo, sabi ng marami, this is the wrong time to be in Dubai to talk about investments. Why? We're into the dumps as far as investments are concerned. And I'm not even talking about a set of asset classes. I mean, all asset classes. Crypto, NFTs, stocks, bonds, lahat. Siguro nga yung collectibles na lang ang okay. Watches are okay. You know, I was this telling Jewel here, one of the reasons why I like to go to Dubai is because I want to go to Luxury Zoo. As it's the biggest watch market in the world. And it's here. Pero, kagabi, muntik silang nalaglag sa silya nila nung pinakita ko sa kanila yung titignan kong mga relo. Okay? Because ito, second-hand, pre-owned, medyo 239 million ang isa. Okay? Ganyan ang mga relo niya. Nandito yan. Ngayon, kung isipin nyo, bibili ba ako hindi? Hindi ako bibili. Ako po ay titingin lang. Okay? Parang kumbaga sa ano, hindi masimasin ko lang, isosoli ko din. Diba? Mahirap pag ikaw na ang bibili. But again, why do I like these things? It's because I really want to understand and appreciate why people can go for such value in a collectible. So, see, when, when times are bad, people are not going to be worrying about missing opportunities. They are going to be looking at managing risk and they think that managing risk is avoiding risk. No. Managing risk is making it a point that you get yourself in assets that can actually be the right ones. This is the roller coaster of emotions. Oh, sana mag invest ako. Gusto ko mag invest Ayan, nag-invest na nga ako. Tama, tingnan nyo. Buti na lang. Nag-invest ako. O nahulog. Ay, bumaba. Average down ako. Nagkalahate. Teka lang, ano na nangyayari? Hindi ba? Sabi ko na nga ba, dapat hindi ko na pinasok to eh. Di ba? O, binenta dito. Ah, bababa pa yan. O, tingnan nyo, tama ako, bumaba nga. Ba? Pag akit dito, ano nangyayari? Ay, bumalik na. Bili na lang ako ulit. Total, mas mababa pa kaysa dati. Di ba? Look at that as a metaphor. Para kayo sumakay ng jeep. Pagsakay na pagsakay nyo, tumigil. Tapos nakikita nyo yung mga bisikleta, dumadaan, yung mga naglalakad, dumadaan. Ikaw nakatigil yung jeep mo. You cannot take it. You cannot take the wind. Bumaba ka! Pagbabang pagbaba mo, matari yung jeep. <laughs> How many of you feel that way for all the investments you made? Aminin nyo man at sa hindi, totoo yan. Yan ang totoong nangyayari. This is the roller coaster of emotions and we see this in markets like the U.S where it's down 15%. And why? Because inflation is eating us up. The inflation rate in the U.S. is now 9.1. It's the highest in 40 years. And it's not just the inflation that's high. It's also the Fed trying to do something about it. For the first time since 2006, they increased rates by 50 basis points. And for the first time since year 2000, 
they did it in succession with a 25 bit increase. Nung nag 75 bits increase sila, that was the first time in 46 years that they're doing it. It is a major issue. And their unemployment is really bad. Right? The employment rate is going down and their GDP is already negative. You hear the word inflation leading to a recession. That's not even the worst. For the U.S., they're talking about stagflation. Stagflation is a situation where the economy slows down because you don't have any factor improvements for an increase in demand because you're losing employment and there is high inflation. So it's going to be in the doldrums for quite a while. Pero yung inflation, hindi naman talaga problema ng US yan eh. Hindi naman problema ng Philippines yan eh. Look at this. Inflation is the problem of 52 countries experienced by 1.8 billion people. Double digit, but for the first time, nakita nyo ang Pilipinas dito, hindi nakashade. Oh, hindi nakashade, nawawala. Oh. Bakit? Kasi hindi double digit ang inflation natin eh. We are so aghast about 6.1, but people have more than double digit. Ayan ang Pilipinas, nasa Asia. And the impact of this leads all the GDP numbers in the whole world to go down. Alam niyo, gusto niyo mag-recover agad yung market? Mag-declare lang si Putin na tapos na yung war. That's it. That's the root cause of all the supply chain problems, all the inflation problems. Yan naman ang dahilan. Na. How long it's gonna be? No one knows. But you see, you heard this many, many times. Be fearful when others are greedy and be greedy when others are fearful. And you get to get to ask yourself, saan po ilalagay? Ang dali maging greedy eh. Pero nakakatakot. Easier said than done. Think about your own country. Is it doing better? Maybe. It's only 13% down. Inflation is at 6.1. Yan pang inflation na yan? Highest? In 40 years? No. It's highest in only 3 years. Because the last time I was here, 2019, we were just coming off from a high inflation rate of 6.7%. If you remember, that was 2018. So 3.7 years lang tayo. Sila, tingnan nyo, 40-year oh, high sa US, 30-year high sa UK, Germany is a 41-year high. Look at the Philippines, 3.4-year high. Actually, Three years and seven months now. And that's one reason why the peso is behaving this way. And people are concerned while well, you guys are happy because you